So in this video, I'm talking about sample proportion mean and standard deviation. Now, uh, what sort of question am I trying to answer with this? Something like this. If you call five random people from Australia 10 times, what would be the average number of people in each sample that had a pet? I'll give you a bit more information here. 70% of Australians have pets. Now, um, so we're calling five people. We're doing 10 We've got everyone's phone number in the whole of Australia. Here's what the groups look like. Here's a nice little table here, and this is what you'd expect. Not from uh, 10 times, but if you just did it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, you would have zero people in your sample of five with a pet 0.0023% of the time. Uh, you would have uh, three people with pets 0.3087, almost a third of the time you would have that. Now, the question is, over the long run, what percentage of people in your group would have pets? Well, there is two ways to do this. I'll show you the sort of longish way, and then I'll show you the easy way. So we can say that the mean of the sample proportion is going to be equal to this times this, 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 and this times this, all added together. And you've done means of discrete random variables variables before. So let's do that. That times that, that times that, etc. There's my big long sum there. That times that, that times that, 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 and that. And we get um, equal to 0.70004. Now, that 4 is a rounding error. It's because I rounded these off. Um, the actual answer is 0.70004. It's just 0.7. Now, where have we seen 0.7 in this question before? Here, um, in the population. The percentage of people that own a pet in the population is 0.7. And we would expect the average proportion of people in our sample to be equal to the average proportion of people in the population feels like common sense to me. If you take enough surveys over and over and over again and you average them out, the proportion of people in the surveys or in the samples will be equal to the proportion of people in your population. This can be given here. Uh, we can write uh, sample proportion mean is equal to P, where P is the probability that something is happening in the population. Now, that's the average of our sample proportions, but what about the standard deviation of our sample proportions? How spread out will our data be? Well, that formulas are a little more complicated. Important, the sample proportions standard deviation, how spread out your samples will be if you take 10 samples, is equal to the square root of PQ over N. Now, P is the probability of success in the population, 0.7. Q is the possibility of failure, which is just 0.3, uh, one minus P. And N is the number of uh, people in your sample. So in this case, the number of people in my sample was five. Want to note, some people don't like using the letter Q in their formulas. So instead they use this longer version of the formula. Um, instead of writing Q, they write one minus P. Uh, but those two formulas are identical. This formula appears on a lot of formula sheets. I say that the standard deviation of uh, the random variable, which is the sample proportion, is equal to the root, root PQ on N. And in this particular instance, that's equal to the square root of 0.7 times 0.3 success and failure over n, which is uh, five. And on our calculator, the standard deviation is 0.2049. All right, so what's all of this for? Knowledge is power here when it comes to surveying. If you survey a number of times, you can start to get a sense for what the population's mean is if you find your average mean here. Uh, and the standard deviation if you've got some idea of uh, success and failure in your population, you can get a sense for how spread out 
your random samples are going to be in their conclusions as well. Now, a lot of this should feel like very familiar territory. Once again, we are really working with uh, discrete random variables, binomial distributions as well. Uh, this sample proportion standard deviation is really the, the new key idea in this video.